Hey guys, it's Two Review Games or Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Fortnite's top five videos. And before we get into the video, I do quickly want to mention this is the last chance for you guys to enter into my Season 3 Battle Pass giveaway. To enter, it's incredibly easy. All you have to do is drop a like on the video and let me know right now in the comment section below how many kills you have here in Fortnite. Also, if you guys have a Twitter account, please attach your username to your comment because if you do win, it makes it a hundred times times easier for me to contact you and also guys just like our last top five I will hide two codes somewhere in this video one Xbox code and one PSN code first come first serve for those but if you don't get one of those don't worry just comment and like and you still have a chance to win a bunch of codes that I currently have on deck and I'll be giving away over the next little bit. I think we can all agree that winning here in Fortnite is one of the best feelings in the world. Being in that, you know, top 10 of that 1v1 situation and pulling out the win is one of the best things ever. And it can be tough though to win in this game consistently. So if you're someone who is struggling to win in this game, today I'll be going over five things that you're probably doing wrong. And if you fix a couple of these things, I guarantee you, you'll see a lot more wins. Of course, guys, if you are new to the channel, and you want to see more Fortnite's top five videos, make sure to hit that sub button. And besides that, let's get into today's top five video. So coming in at the number five spot on my list, Building at the end of the game is absolutely mandatory. If you do not build end game, you're not building bases, there is a very high chance you're going to lose. And this is quite obvious, right? I didn't want to put it on the list because it's it's so obvious. Of course you have to build at the end of the match, but it is incredible how many people don't build. There are so many matches where I'm the only guy building a base. The circle's so small, there's five, six left, and I'm the only guy sitting there in a base. Everyone else is creeping around and hiding behind trees, which sometimes can work, but for the majority of the time, you're gonna lose. All I have to do is shoot that tree, RPG that tree, and your cover is gone, and you're dead. Out of everything I'm gonna talk about in this video, this is hands down the most important thing, but it's, it's just so obvious. That's why I have it here in the five spot. So if you wanna see more wins, end game, especially when that circle starts getting small, make sure you're constantly building bases. If you build and your base is outside the circle, move in the circle and build right away. Now, when it comes to end end game, like there's only a couple people left, make sure you're building with brick or steel. Don't even, if you have to do wood, you can, but Brick and steel is so much nicer than using wood. It gets destroyed so fast, especially there's RPG spam at the end. So make sure you have enough materials for the end game. But if you build more at the end of the game, I guarantee you you're going to see a ton more wins. So coming in at the number four spot on my list, please don't hide behind trees. This is one of the most common things you see at the end game in Fortnite. It is unbelievable how many people hide behind trees and it is literally suicide if you're gonna go and hide behind a tree because when it gets down to me five, four, three people or two people left and you're there hiding behind a tree while somebody else is in a base, you're dead. You're, you're gonna lose because all I have to do if I'm in the base, all I have to do is shoot that tree a couple times with my gun, it disappears, and you are completely exposed. If they have an RPG or a scar, you're screwed. Now obviously there's gonna be those games where something might have gone horribly wrong and all you have for cover is a tree. Now that's totally okay, but if your strategy for winning games or trying to, you know, get in that top five, top ten is by running around and hiding behind trees, it's one of the worst things you could possibly do. And you know what? I completely understand why people still do this because I did it all the time as well. My thinking was, you know what, at the end of the match, I don't want to build like crazy and give away my position. I'm just going to go ahead and hide behind trees and objects and that way I'll kind of like sneak my way into the, the top five or, you know, that 1v1 situation and it never ends well. You'll get lucky sometimes, but the majority of your games are going to end in death. So when it comes to end game, don't behind behind trees and objects, just build and you'll win a ton more. So coming in at the number three spot on my list, rushing bases is a tricky thing in Fortnite. There's one way you should do it, and then there's one way that you shouldn't do it. The proper way, of course, is 
build up to the base, and then just one pump the guy in the face, you're good to go. That's the ideal way of rushing a base here in Fortnite. Then, there's another way that a lot of people love doing this, especially at the end of the match, is when they have nowhere else to hide, they will go to the bottom of your base and just sit there. This is something that I can completely relate to because I used to do this all the time when Fortnite first came out. You always think that there's no way they'll notice that I'm down here and sometimes you can successfully actually get there, but it doesn't take much for them to spot you, especially if they're looking down around the map. It's really easy to see if someone's sitting at the base of your base. And what a lot of people like to do is they'll successfully get to the bottom of your base and then they'll start hitting down the walls and it alerts you instantly and then you're just instantly dead. All they do is RPG you or since they're looking down, they can easily get a couple headshots on you with a AR or, or a scar and you're absolutely screwed. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you are at the bottom of someone's base, at least build some kind of cover above you so they don't know exactly where you are. It gives you at least a chance of surviving. Don't just sit there hoping they won't see you because Guys, I'm sorry, there's a very good chance that they will see you, they will spot you, and you're gonna lose the game. So coming in at the number two spot on my list, I wanna talk about end game loot, because one thing you see a lot of people doing is trying to improve their, their loadout at the end of a match, because there is always tons of loot laying around, especially as you get closer to that 1v1 situation. There are just, there's just loot all over the place. There's gold scars everywhere. There's chug jugs, shields, medkits, anything you would need. It is lying all over the map because people are kind of scared to go out. But those who do will go and try to improve their loadout and they become easy targets. And this can be challenging because we all find ourselves in those matches where we don't really have the best loot, right? You're not going to get great loot every single game. And there are games where you're in that top five situation and you you have a white AR or a green AR and it's so tempting to go out and loot but that's a really bad idea. I find that towards the end of the game people are so crazy for loot they'll actually run to the storm to get loot and running to the storm at the end of the game is such a bad idea because it takes so much of your health so quickly but people don't care they will run right into the storm and they will take all that damage maybe for some ammo or or a scar and of course sometimes you might be out of options and that's the only thing you can really do but if you have bad weapons, you don't need to go out there and replace them. You're probably good with what you have. If you're building, if you're doing all that stuff, you should be fine. You don't have to go crazy for the loot end game. And there's probably going to be an opportunity to grab something as you're moving. So don't go crazy for a loot end game, guys. It's not a big deal. You can win with what you have. It's so coming in at the number one spot on my list. This definitely isn't the most important thing when it comes to winning game. That belongs to building, but this is something that is still very important and it's kind of underrated it kind of surprises me how important it actually is and I don't think about it all that much and that's the RPG I think the RPG is the king of end game and I think if you have an RPG you have a significant advantage over everybody else especially if you have the gold RPG because then you can really kill people with it the blue and purple are, are all right the blue is actually really bad with killing people but the gold my gosh, this thing absolutely wrecks. And if you can manage to get an RPG, if you can manage to get good positioning with your base, you should have absolutely no problem winning. Most of the time though, at the end of the game, we're just not gonna have RPGs. You just don't get them all that often. The only time you really get them is you get really, really lucky and you get them from a chest or you happen to kill somebody and they have an RPG. But even then, the chances of getting one are still incredibly slim. Now, the one thing that I do notice when playing is when you wanna get a gold RPG, the best way to do it consistently every single game is wait kind of towards the end of the game not like really really towards the end when you're like top five or you know, like when the circle is really small but as the circle is kind of getting smaller and smaller two supply drops will start spawning in at once those i find always drop either gold scars gold rpgs and sometimes gold snipers but most of the time i'm always getting gold rpgs from those and it's perfect because it's just before you really want to establish yourself in an area with your base so you have time to do this if you want but even then it can be very very tough but if you do get one again it's so good it's so powerful and if you have that height advantage 
knowledge, you have that base, and you're raining down on people, you're just unstoppable. It's crazy powerful. So there we have it, guys. That is going to conclude today's top five video, and I really recommend following all these things if you're struggling to win. Again, the most important thing is building. If you build end game, I promise you guys, you guys are gonna get a ton more wins. Besides that, guys, if you haven't already, drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite top fives, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.